What do we know about Mike Easley's leave from his firm? Very little. What we know is that he worked at McGuire Woods, which is a very high-powered law firm uh, office in Raleigh, and that uh, he was uh, he took a leave for no uh, apparent explanation one week before the federal grand jury investigating him convened in Raleigh. Uh, we can draw whatever conclusions we would like from that, but the people at McGuire Woods are being very tight-lipped about the whole thing. Now, a few weeks ago, we had his former counsel, Ruffin Poole, plead guilty to one count of income tax evasion. By all accounts, uh, Mr. Poole is cooperating with investigators. Do we know at all whether the leave has anything to do with the cooperation of Mr. Poole? We, we don't know that because the, those, you know, any sort of testimony or any sort of interviews he's done with prosecutors are, are secret. But uh, one could imagine that, that the folks at McGuire Woods would like to uh, insulate themselves from any uh, negative publicity that might come from this. Now, we also had news, Rick, that the Rowan County District Attorney, that would be Bill Kennerly, he's the gentleman who has taken on the criminal investigation that was referred from the State Board of Elections. He gave an interview in which he used an interesting phrase. He said that he is, quote, pursuing new avenues. What do you make of that? Well, uh, th th what's interesting about that is uh, that when Andy Curl has posted this on the News and Observer's Investigations blog, right about that same time, uh, Don Carrington of Carolina Journal had also called Mr. Kennerly as well because we were sort of wondering what was going on. We'd heard nothing from him since uh, he was given this case by the State Board of Elections. And Mr. Kennerly was pretty forthcoming in saying that don't expect anything to happen before July 4th, but that he was pursuing new avenues, he was, in, which may mean that he is looking into things, that, uh, into witnesses the Board of Elections uh, subpoenaed but did not call for testimony. Because when they actually got the Governor Easley to testify, along with McQueen Campbell and Lanny Wilson and others, they had enough to make the case they made. But because all these other people did not testify, including other pilots, you know, McQueen Campbell was a pilot. There were other people who flew the governor around, and uh, the flights weren't disclosed. There were other people who were involved in providing uh, free cars to the governor and his family. So all these folks were around. They just weren't called to testify. So he certainly could have pursued them rather than just the people we know about.